move to uh, number nine, highway purchase approvals? Yes, I've got a number of them there for upcoming jobs for the summer, paving jobs and uh, drainage jobs. First one is five rolls of Marifite stabilization fabric from Keystone Building Supply at $2,250. Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Cora? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. Next one is 10 rolls of Amerifite stabilization fabric from Keystone Building Supply at $3,250. So moved. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Cora? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. Next one is 25 2 by 2 by 2 catch basins with knockouts from Sunnycrest Incorporated, $6,500. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Next item is our 10 2 by 2 by 4 uh, deep uh, basin catch basins with knockouts from Sunnycrest at $4,000. So moved. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Blakey? Yes. Next item will be the grass seed mulch and bales of fertilizer from Merit, Merit Seeds, $3,500. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Blakey? Yes. The next one will be 150 yards of topsoil for lawn repairs from Gerber Topsoil. $2,900. So moved. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. Next item here is uh, sand fill topsoil from Jack Brown and Sons for $5,000. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. Next one will be a four-week sweeper rental for two units from J&J Equipment for $15,000. So moved. I would like to say one thing. It is cheaper renting sweepers than it is trying to maintain them. So this $15,000 is for two sweepers? Yes, for two sweepers. Yes. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Next one will be gutter brooms and main brooms for our own sweepers from Crossroads, Crossroads Highway for $3,000. So moved. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Next item is special size frame and grates and risers from Syracuse Castings at $10,000. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. Next item is 25, uh, 24 by 24 inch framing grates and Crossroads Highway at $4,525. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Cora? Yes. Ms. Boyd? Yes. And the last item is the traffic paint for upcoming road striping, white and yellow, and the glass beads from Crossroads Highway at $25,000. So moved. <coughs> I would also, I would like to say this is state mandated what you have to use now on painting the roads. So. Yep. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Number 10 is Parks and Rec approvals. Yes, I have five items, um, again, for starting into our season. First is contract mowing, the second year of a three-year contract that we began in 2009. It would be contract mowing for um, cemeteries in the town, Cicero Taft Settlement, Riverside and Cicero Center Cemetery. Sean's Lawns is the contractor that won the uh, bid last year. The total cost is $9,550 and it is for approximately uh, April 15th 
through mid-October, Mullen. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Cimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Mr. Blakey? Yes. Second item is contract vegetation control, which is for the parks, the park and rides, the cemeteries, and buildings uh, within the park system, and that is through High Point Lawn Service, $4,260. It's the second year of a three-year contract as well, and the budget items or budget um, lines are listed. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Cimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Blake. Yes. The third item is topsoil, 140 cubic yards at 19.50 a cubic yard, which is contract county contract pricing for $2,800. Jack Brown and Sons. And as you note, there are a number of budget codes listed. Um, the town's share is $400. The balance of that cost is being borne by the youth leagues for maintenance and operation in the parks for their specific leagues and specific parks. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Cimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Blakey? Yes. Uh, infill mix is the next item, 150 cubic yards, at county contract pricing, and I'd like an amount of $3,000 not to be exceeded. Jack Brown and Sons, and again, the town's share of infield mix is $600. The balance is being borne by the Cicero Little League and the North Syracuse Little League. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Cimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Floyd? Yes. My last item is sand for our beach facility, 80 cubic yards, county contract pricing through Jack Brown and Sons and an amount of not to exceed $1,120. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Cimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coro? Yes. Ms. Blakey? Yes. Thank you, My next item um, on the agenda is to set a new program fee. It is policy. Um, because the department was created uh, by the town board back in 65 with uh, a Parks and Rec Commission, the commission approves a program, the town board approves the fee set for that program. I've given you an information on extended day camp program uh, pursuant to requests by residents in the town to have something available before 8.15 in the morning and beyond 2.15 in the afternoon. We've set a program up. Um, to extend the day from 7.15 in the morning where children could be dropped off before parents go to work. And then from our program, they would stay at Cicero Elementary School till approximately 2 o'clock. And then at 2 o'clock, they would be transported to the Cicero Family Sports Center where they would pick up the balance of the program through the, re the rest of the day and parents would pick them up there. Um, there is a fee set, as you all have an information sheet, for each one of those specific sections of the day. And the fee that's set for that is based on a minimum number of children. It covers the town's cost with a little bit extra on it. And if we have more than the minimum number of children, we will make additional money. It is not the intention of my department to ask for more from the residents than basically covering our costs and making a little bit more. But this, again, is a request by residents um, to try and offer something that fits into their day as well. And they are covering costs totally for this program. And, and these fees were, are the recommended fees by your board? They are the fees recommended by the department to the commission who approved it at their meeting that Mr. Jennings was at. And now to you folks for your approval of the fee. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Mr. Brano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Blakey? Yes. Thank you.